channel if this is your first time of visiting my channel please hit the subscribe button and also the like button and to every one of my returning subscribers i want to say thank you all you guys are the real mvps thank you today i'm excited and i'm going to be teaching us how to make this lovely no sightseeing boo boo ha this gown is giving me uh those rich anti vibes, you know, rich anti vibes, those aunties who have so much. <laughs> okay, we'll be learning how to make this bubble, okay, but we'll be adding a little modification to it. Just play around with it, okay. I, I promise you, this is gonna be exciting. So, if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, I have three years of this fabric, and um, you can use any fabric that drapes easily. You could use satin, you could use duchess, you could use crepe, you could use, um, I said satin already, you could use chiffon, light as thick chiffon. So far it drapes easily, it will work better, it will work well for you. You can also use lycra also, if you can work with it at all. So this is, um, this is a, a lycra fabric, it's thick, it's not like the conventional one, okay, it's a thick lycra and so go very well for this outfit okay this fabric like i said earlier is about three yards in quantity and then it measures about 67 inches in length okay so we'll be using the length i'll just fold the, the fabric and then show you okay, what i've laid the fabric straight on the table please remember to pin that would make your job, your work easy, very easy for you because you'll be working with such fabrics, crab and the rest of it, they move a lot so you might want to pin to make life easy for you. So I've gone ahead to lay this fabric on the table and pinned it up to, to help me to be able to control the fabric. Now I said on this side, on this folded edge here is the length of this fabric and it measures about, from this tip here to the end, is about 67 inches. 67 inches in length and then on this side here is the three yards divided by it in folded in two is about one and a half yards and the other one and a half yards on the other side so i hope we're back on track okay so what we're going to do is to get start get our starting point and also our hem all right so we'll just take our neck tape all right get a start line we're using the tip of this fabric as a start line right so we don't have issues and then length of this dress is about 62 inches in length so that's about somewhere here okay so i'll just simply take what i have here and make a line so here is about two three quarter inches i'll roll the same here so that i can get the straight line all right Remember to pin to make your work easier for you. Alright. So we already have our line. So I'll get my ruler and then okay. Now that's our that's our hem. Alright. So I want us to finish all that we have to do down there so that. We don't go back and forth since the table is very big and the fabric is very long also so the hem round around the hem wants to know you want to um get, you want to um impute the circumference of the hem for this tutorial we want to use i'll be using about 27 inches on that end and this is folded so this is going to be um 27 on on the other side too and on um, this outfit also at least two ways you can actually you can do or mix two fabrics have a different fabric on the left and a different fabric on the right that way you have a joining in front and at the back but for this tutorial we have enough fabric that will go round so our only seam be in front okay so we're cutting all around at the same time all right just stick with me you will understand what i'm doing so on the hem right here we'll be taking 20, 28 inches okay is about 28 inches right here you mark that out all right the next time we'll be coming there is just to cut so we mark that out over there and then we'll be coming over over to the starting point to take our neck 
measurements, okay? Remember to pin, else it's going to be frustrating, okay? Now, right here, I said we're going to be using the tip here as, uh, or you can just eyeball it to use one inch to make a starting point around this end, okay? This is our starting point. So what we need to do is, like I said earlier at the intro, we're going to be modifying what we saw on the thumbnail, okay? We'll change your work around the neck and play around with it to make it look more beautiful. Now, for the neck, we to be using two and a half inches and the neck, neck depth for the back, we're cutting the back here, while the front is going to be on the other side where there's going to be a joining. All right, stick with me. I I assure you, you're gonna love this. So we'll be taking two and a half inches right here for the neck width. Okay. I hope this is wide enough for you to see. And then the neck depth to we'll be using about um, um three quarter inches. Okay, that's less than one inch. All right. That's for the back neck. So we'll move over to the front or to the other end now, which is the front. Now gently pull your fabric. Okay, you want to do this. Like I said, you want to pin so that you can have control over your fabric. So right here, which is the tip, we, won't, um, we are making use of everything right here okay so right here right here we'll just come to the tip right here okay right here where you have the tip and take a curve right down to the 28 inches on the hem all right that's as easy as that in less than in few minutes we'll be done Okay, so join me. We're going to just take a curve, a slight curve, very slight curve, down to the 28 inches on the hem. Right here to this point. Okay. Voila. I hope you can see it. Okay. That's the line over there. From the hem straight down to the other end. So right before we cut, okay. You want to make that curve in front, in the lower part. So we'll look for the midpoint here of this 28. I forgot to mention, you can make it less than 28. You can make it more than 28 also, right? You can make it less than 28 inches and you can make it more than 28. So we're looking for the middle point here, which is about 14 inches. 14 inches. That's it. Okay, so that's that's basically it. This is the middle. Alright. Now we'll go up here. We'll go up here by 18 inches. Just so you have enough of um, skin showing. Alright? So from the hem here, we'll go up by 18 inches. Is about 18 inches. What you just want to do right now is to make a curve joining from this 18 inches mark to the to the 14 inches mark right down there. Alright? Using a curve. You have to do that. Okay. And that's it. So at this point, we're going to cut this line. This line from here round there until the tip right there after doing that we're going to sew it okay after joining you sew to this point here you stop here right here and leave this part open because this is where 
the legs will be so this the, you stop right here you're going to be joining with half of an inch okay you sew right to the top there cut we're going to cut the back neckline for the front neckline we'll do that after joining this okay that way we'll get what we want right but before okay how about we do this we just get the neck width so that we know what we're working with our neck width that we used in front is about two and a half inches so at this tip here remember the line so from the tip the tip here just mark two and a half inches that's going to be for um the um what's it called the neck width okay and then because we're going to be modifying it again let's take just one and a half inches depth you make a curve right here we're going to be working on this neck again and you see the reason why so we'll just cut this out cut out to that point where i told you that's 18 inches mark cut the back neckline and then we sew okay okay i'm back and i've sewn i've sewn from the 18 inches mark okay I've sewn from the 18 inches mark straight down to the front neckline, all right, with um, half of an inch, all right, and then we left the down part open, okay. So the next thing you want to do is to open it all up in this manner and ensure that you have the neck width touching each other this way, okay. Now let's do it this way. Let's just make sure. That's why I said we're going to modify that neck back because some things will not be in place after doing this. If you look closely, you would see you see that the front neckline is higher than the back neckline. That's because of the shape of the dress. So we'll be cutting out and then we're cutting our normal our real or new neckline for the front. Like I told you, this is where you have the joining. So this where you have the joining here is the front. And this here is the back piece. Okay, so we'll be cutting to have the same le um, level with the back. And then we'll move from there. we have this we already know that our neck width is about two and a half inches wide so we just close over get the midpoint here which is where we 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 sewn and then measure our two and a half inches and however we want our neckline to look okay so this is the joining right here okay you're marking from the joining where you sewed <laughs> this fabric is very also this is where I sewed, so I'll be marking two and a half inches from there, which is about which is the neck width, okay? And that's this marking right here. I remember I said at the beginning of the video that I want to modify the neck of this dress. On the thumbnail, you have a V neck, but right now I want to make something that has a belt so we can tie, okay? So what I'll do at this point is to comb down our neck depth will still be about two and a half inches in depth okay let's make that curve all right two so half inches in depth then this is what we're going to do at some point since we sewn this part we're just losing down about two and a half inches this is so that our neck our head can pass through all right the neck or the head can pass through then you um, just simply roll that up with the seam of the hemming gum then around the neck we'll place a belt around the neck so you can tie it like a bow okay so i'll just go ahead to cut that out this is two and a half inches wide all right and then when i'm ready or when i'm sewing and copying everything i'll just open this down about two and a half inches length down two and a half <coughs> inches down then fold over okay then fold over so right now at this point now the next thing to do 
is to get our shoulder and also open up our <coughs> sleeve. Now, the sleeve is going to be popping out from here. Let's do it this way so that we can see clearly. All right, this right here is our neck, the neck, the neck depth. All right, so now the sleeve is going to be popping out from the top here so that you have this, the fullness right under your arm. Okay, just under the arm. So we'll be using about six to seven inches for this sleeve opening right here. So what you just need to do is mark, my fabric is a very stretchy fabric, so six inches is okay, even way too much. But about six, five and a half or six inches. But for this tutorial, I'm using six, all right? Just to be on the safe side. Six inches on this side and six inches on the other side also, on the other tip. Also, so what you'll be doing is to sew from the neck with here, this joining here, straight down to your six inches mark with half of an inch. Then you have your sleeve opening right here, all right? And then you do the same for the other sleeve. This fabric, this style, you can always modify it however way you want to do it. Like for this particular tutorial, we're not going to be having. Um, any ruffles around in the middle part you can always you can to modify yours you can add um, elastic a drawstring whatever thing just to give it a twist you know suit it to your own very style okay so i'll take to the machine join the shoulders and then open that up and then we'll be um we'll be done i've sewn the neck up all right and we have something like this okay now this is our neck opening, right? I told you about this. So what I'll do when I'm done, I'll just fold this to the side and then sew with half of an inch and do the same thing on this side. Then around the neck, like I said, I want to add, I want to add a fabric because I used up all the three yards on this dress. And I must assure you guys, it's looking very beautiful. So here is the sleeve opening. What I'm going to do is just to fold over and sew round by half of an inch and we're good to go we'll do that on both sides then for the length okay i noticed it was um the gown is long and then 18 inches up was too short for me so i went up to about 25 inches higher all right making my curve more so what i did was just to open up my seam back to 25 inches and i was good to go okay that's my length so if you're okay with the 18 inches that's okay with you but i had to go up further all right so what's next is okay for the hem what you just do is to hem fold over with about half and one inch you can either sew if you have a shear scissors you can just use that to cut it and then use a lighter to bone out okay because usually stretchy very stretchy fabrics tend to wiggle you know have some kind of curves when they are weaved, when you weave them. So it's better to just leave it on this side and then use um, a hemming gum to just fold over one inch round it. Or better still, you can fold over. All right? You can do that and have a seam and run a stitch, a neat stitch around it. Okay. So our dress is almost done. So the next thing I'll, be, I'll do is to measure round our neck round the neck here round the neck is about let's measure that out all right from the tip here okay no not from the tip about half inch away from the tip because we're going to be folding in half inch all right so take note of that so half inch away from the tip we're going to measure okay round to this point to the other edge almost there okay that's about 16 and a half 16 and a half inches all right like i said i used up all my fabric so i'll be using this black fabric to make the tie on belt or whatever you would call it i want to make this belt very long all right so that when i tie the bow i'll have some still dropping on my chest 
okay and then also another effect i want this belt this um tie or belt to have is on the collar there to fold over like when it should be long wide enough all right in length so that when i place it on the shoulder all right on the shoulder of the dress i can easily i can fold the neck down the belt down just to have a beautiful finish right there around the neck all right so um i said we'll be cutting in two we'll be cutting two of this because i want to make it very long so to have that effect because this dress this belt is going to be cut on fold this way all right and you want to have a lot so that you can you can bend over so this is about three and a half inches okay let's make that four instead let's make that four inches instead so okay this four inches so on court on four on, on four it will be eight inches all right so that's eight inches right there and eight inches on this end too i said earlier that we're going to be cutting two of this so i'll just use this to cut out the second belt Right. I'll just use this to cut out the second belt. Okay, so if you've watched till this time, I want to indulge you to please go back right there and subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notification so that you get notified whenever I put up new videos. Alright? And also if you like this, if you like what I've done or you like this video, you want to give it a thumbs up or even drop a comment for me in the comment section. That way I know we are right on track. And then if you want me also to put you through on any tutorial, any style that you want, please put it right there in the comment section. I'll be there waiting to hear from you. Okay, so we've cut two of these belts. All right two of these and i'll be joining them here right here just so we have one piece okay i'm back and i've sewn the two pieces together with half of an inch right here so we are very well we already know that this is like the center of this long strip of fabric okay this is like the center so what we need to do at this point is to mark our neck measurements the round neck on the gown there is about 16 and a half inches so we want to have 16 and a half because we're going to be placing this this center which we're going to notch at this point we're going to notch it and then we'll be placing this center on at the crease of the back piece okay the middle of the back neckline all right so that you can take half half of 16 and a half which is about eight one quarter on the left and it will put that on this other side then the other part will have to seal it up so that um, just to make a belt okay so what we're going to do at this point is to mark this way okay we'll mark eight one quarter on this side and then another eight one quarter on the other side Okay, so what, what this means is we're going to be sewing this all up right here from here with half of an inch, sealing it up. Okay, seal with half of an inch this way to this point and then right down all through this way to the 8 one quarter inch mark. Okay, we'll take a notch there. Alright, let's do that. A short no a small notch and then we'll cross over to this other end all right hold on to this making another notch at the eighth one quarter um, mark okay at this mark and then seal up with half of an inch this way round this way and then seal this up we'll do that and i'll be back to show you what it looks like okay here it is. I've cut the neck belt. All right. It's very long. It's very, very long. So this is where we notched. And this is the middle part of it here. So this is the eight one quarter inch mark. I notched it and brought it out a little so that 
this part now will just be on the neck of the dress okay so i still change my mind like in the spirit of modification and the rest of it i changed my mind to have the knot to be tied in front to to be tied at the back instead of the front you know initially i had to open up this joining down but i've sealed it up and i opened another another slit at the back on the back piece so my belt will be this notch on this belt will be facing the front will be in front so that it all goes to the back okay you can see that matches properly it matches to the end so i'll just pin it i'll just pin or pin up round all right starting from here so it's going to be from the front okay i'm supposed to pin from the front so i'll just pin starting from this eight one quarter mark here pin to the pin i'll pin it round it and then sew it with half of an inch and that is it voila and i'll show you what the outcome looks like Thank mm -hmm. you.